Well, here we are at the Formula One Hotel in central Melbourne. Obviously, given the very brand that we're staying in, I'm staying here because it's cheap. And because it's cheap, there are a fair few things we can anticipate that are going to go on. The first is, of course, that we are stuck with the power door room key combination. Complained about this millions of times on the Junk Up vlog, but it really doesn't get any better. Um, when we turn around, we discover that we've actually got the separate toilet, which is a bonus, and always get in the cheap hotel, and it's even got enough space to sit down properly, so that's something to boast about a little bit. A fairly compact showering arrangement as we go in here. A basic, but nonetheless workable shower. And an interesting touch is having this little curtain that you can spin around the basin. So if you need a bit of privacy while you're shaving or whatever, you could go for that. Not going to be a problem for me because I'm the only person in the room. Of course, as with all Formula Ones, you could have at least three people in the room. You've got the upstairs mark and the downstairs bit to get things done. We've got, you know, a vague attempt at artwork there was a little bit interesting. We'll go over here and admire what passes for not being the view, which goes out to the back streets or somewhere in the vicinity of Burke and Collins. Never mind. We're not really here for that. We have, you know, the compulsory television up here and a quite acceptable amount of desk space here. We've even got a couple of PowerPoint uh, and an alarm clock which isn't secured down unlike in some of these facilities so you know this is hardly the flashiest hotel room you're going to stay in you've got just your one little towel rail there handful of locked in coat hangers there but let's face it at $79 a night who's got any real right to complain